Right now, uh, Matt Williams and Stephen Carr to come forward as they share some um, of their uh, tributes and comments about Patrick for the Rohr family. As they're coming up, I want to share a couple of thoughts here. As I spoke with Sarah the other day, two of the things that she said was that Pat was my center, my calm. And another phrase that she said, their family motto in the ups and downs of life, she said their motto together was just keep swimming. And that was a powerful, powerful word. Here's Matt and Stephen now. Sorry, I'm not sure where to start for Pat. So I'll go with what I mean. Pat was a great man. He reflected every good, exemplary quality that we look for in society. Pat did what was right, not because he had to, not because someone was watching him, but because that's what Pat did. It's who he was with every core of his being. A few years ago, Pat and I had gone to the Warrior Dash out in Lawrence. During a water obstacle, I see Pat turn around and jump in, going the wrong way. Initially, I thought he'd lost his shoe, because he did. And then when I turned around, I noticed Pat was swimming towards a guy who was obviously having trouble. I jumped in after him after I saw the guy dunk Pat about three times. He jumped in, pulled the guy to safety. I was taking a breather on shore, and I turned around and Pat's already swimming back into the obstacle. Once the man was safe, Pat was continuing. After, I asked him, and he said, we still have a race to run. That's who he was. During life, whenever there's been very tough moral choices, I've always consulted Pat, because he's the one person who always did what was right. He instinctively knew it. I called him from probably four continents to ask his advice every time. Well, and then he'd say exactly what I needed to hear, even when it's not what I wanted to hear. Throughout all the chaos of life, Pat was a rock. You could always count on him. You could always count on him for a kind word, or a beer, or a sandwich, or just someone to talk to. Many times, I would think to myself, what would Pat tell me to do? Or, if I don't do this, I cannot face Pat. Because, even if you failed, Pat would ask, did you at least try? As long as you said yes, even if you didn't. He'd look at you and say, well, there's always next time. Pat's goofiness was his strength. He was never afraid to be himself. He was never afraid to show his exuberance for life for interests, for hobbies. He was incredibly proud of his family. He was so proud going to see Emma's recitals that she was getting into comic books. It delighted him to no end that his daughter played video games with him. He was so proud of Connor growing up. He loved Sarah more than anything. If you would have told Pat to his face two weeks ago, this is what's going to happen, the only thing he would say is, are Sarah and the kids okay? 
All right, take care of them. He was one of the bravest men I've ever known. He was the greatest. Fred Rogers said, when tragedy strikes, don't look towards the tragedy, but look for those who help. So in this tragedy, with this evil act, we have to look at the people who are supporting Patrick and his family and the other deputy. We have to look to the people who show up and support because that's exactly what Pat would have done. He would have been there to help to the point of people having to tell him to go away because that's who he was. He was the greatest man I've ever known. I know he's watching this. I know he's making his presence known. I know I'll see him again. He was a hero. At the end of this, I'm going to be able to look him in the eyes and say I tried. I love you, man. There is no death, there is only the force. This is for Pat. Try not, do or do not, there is no try. Pat was doing this every time in his life. It may not have been the way you wanted it done or in the time that you wanted it done, but it got done. He was a true brother, father, and friend. You could talk to him and be yourself and be free. From going to con, playing video games, Rockfest, Ozfest, chatting about the newest sci-fi movies. We would jump at the chance to go together, sometimes with my sister's permission. You must choose your own path. No one can choose it for you. And in seeking your destiny, patience is an ally. Pat loved being a cop. He studied. He went to class, both here and away from his family, meeting new people and doing new things. Pass on what you have learned. Pat has passed on to us. Do what makes you happy. If someone says no, you keep swimming. When judging people, size matters not. never seen color, race, religion as a reason not to be your friend. He would help in any way he could. This is a statement I want everyone to understand.
anger, fear, and aggression will only lead us to the dark side. We do not need this now. He would not want us there. Not with the time that we all have left. If it smells bad on the outside, it's worse on the end. In recent years, Pat started brewing, cooking meals, and let's just say I'll leave the statement up top, and we'll leave it there. Faith in your friends is a strength, not a weakness. Look around us today. We're friends and more family that has brought us together. Now in closing, there are three things Patrick would want us all to know. Number one, never underestimate the power of the force. Number two, in the pursuit of peace, and justice, remember, the force is always with us. And number three, when playing games, always, always let the Wookiee win.